Hello and welcome to this reaction of The Big Bang Theory. We are on episode 12 of season 2 and uh, yeah, having fun. It's a fun show. A lot of silly things going on with these characters and I love the world. It's small, condensed, funny, and yeah, just having a fun blast with the show. So without further ado, let's get to the show. Behold, the mobile omnidirectional neutralization and termination eradicator or Monty. Monty. <laughs> Featuring one articulated razor sharp killing saw, one polycarbonate grinding and flipping wheel, steel armor plate, exoskeleton top and bottom, and enough horsepower to drive 110 pounds of mechanized death from zero to holy crap in 4.8 seconds. Oh, chit chat, let's destroy something. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Not what in the apartment. To taste the wrath of Monty. Maybe we should start small. What did I ever do to Jimmy Mullins in the third grade? He still punched me in the face with my own fist. <laughs> Sorry, you little nerd. You were just in the wrong boys' room at the wrong time. Gentlemen, goggles. <laughs> yeah, this is the special moment. How about die, toast, or die? <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> uh. Very nice. <laughs> All right, what's next? No, I think we're just gonna stay in tonight and do laundry. <laughs> Full Monty. Uh huh. What the hell? The killer robot. We built it. Yeah. Well, it almost killed me. If it wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. <laughs> 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 so, who exactly does it want to kill? Words banquet mm. and a dance afterward. <laughs> Perhaps he'd like to come with me. <laughs> oh, come the on, other Howard. would be really excited to see a girl there. How is it supposed to be a dance if I'm the only girl? Well, I, that may be a slight exaggeration. He's Leonard, not now. Once again, Penny and I have begun our little tango. <laughs> I'm begging nope. you, stop talking. Look, normally I can just ignore you. I mean, I get it. You're a little peculiar, you know, like Sheldon. Excuse me, Penny, but in this room, you're the one who's peculiar. Yeah, Not you long. might be right. Yeah. <laughs> but back to you. I know you think you're some sort of smooth talking ladies man, but the truth is you are just pathetic and creepy. Um, that was a little harsh. Wait a minute. This isn't flirting. You're serious. <laughs> You think I'm flirting with you? I am not flirting with you! No woman is ever gonna flirt with you! You're just gonna grow old and die alone! Ooh. All right, where are you going? I'm going home to live my creepy, pathetic life. Ouch. Wow. Well, you, someone had to say it. How the Shift happens. Here's a crazy idea, Ma. Answer it! Hello? All I can't believe he has a phone in his room. Oh, Ma, I work at a university! That's a <laughs> Now pick up the phone! I don't want to talk to anybody. Can I ask Leonard to bring over your homework? I don't have homework. I'm a grown man with a master's degree in engineering. I don't know. Now they're just yelling about popsicles. <laughs> Sounds like Penny really got to him. I'm not surprised. Despite his hard and crusty shell, Howard is a very sensitive man. Do you know he writes poetry? <laughs> Mostly about men from Nantucket and hermits named Dave. I'm so confused. What do on the plasma web is? You built a robot? <laughs> yes, we did, Kripke. His name is Monty. Well, if you have any delusions about entering him against my robot, the Quipkey Quippler, in the Southern California Robot Fighting League Round Robin Invitational, a.k.a. the SCRFLROI, his name is going to be Squat Metal. <laughs> your robot is inferior, and it will be defeated by ours, because ours exceeds yours in both design and execution. <laughs> also, I'm given to understand that your mother is overweight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, snap. <laughs> now, of course, it's a, let's settle this wabato a wabato. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no guarantee we're going to go against each other in the wound wobbin, so let's slow down. No, yeah, unless you have Wade. What's wrong with him? He's depressed because he's pathetic and creepy and can't get girls. 
We're all pathetic and creepy and can't get girls. <laughs> That's why we fight robots. <laughs> Curious, what part of America is that accent from? <laughs> oh my goodness. His feelings needed to be hurt. He's been in bed for two days. Yeah, probably with a blow up doll. <laughs> oh. He's not with a. Does it really matter who. <laughs> he can't with? say no. The, the guy is devastated. Oh, please, how could I possibly devastate Howard? You know, like most of the time, you're the easygoing Bruce Banner, but then when you get angry, you kind of turn into like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I turn into a bear. Can you see Gamma Ray's Bruce Banner? You didn't get the Incredible Hulk from that? Um, you see a glimmer of goodness in him, and you only said what you said because you want to nurture it and make it shine. No. Oh. Pfft. Right. What was that? What did you say? Oh, yes. You said you owed me one. <laughs> Okay, come on, that's not fair. I came home with no pants. True, Penny. Fine, I'll go over there tomorrow. She's a delightful woman. You will love her. <laughs> <laughs> that's not suspicious. Howard, there's a blonde girl, Patsy, here to see you. Patsy. See how you were doing? I'm fine. Good. Don't look it. Your mom seems nice. People move away from her on the bus. <laughs> what do you want? I've been informed that you have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently I have hurt them. So, I'm sorry. You're okay? Hey, I'm a big boy. I'm not traumatized by some random comment from some random woman. I mean, get over yourself. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh my god, that's Krippy's robot? As you can see, Show us. Krippy is reducing the Chevy Cavalier to wobble. The Chevy uh, Cavalier. Sheldon, did we all not just watch the same video? Krippy's robot just had angry sex with a mid-sized automobile. <laughs> you are overlooking the fact that we now know what we're up against, and we can modify Monty so that he's prepared. You want to prepare him? Install a bladder and a pair of shorts so he can wet himself. <laughs> Excuse me, but how are we going to make any modifications without Wallowitz? Do either of you know how to open the toolbox? <laughs> <laughs> and then when I was 14. Oh, jeez. Is she getting play-by-play play of his life? Great. Right. Grossman. Oh, that's fun. And then she came up with that sexy little chipmunk mouth and spit in my hair. What chance do I have if I don't try too hard? Well, you have a terrific it. chance. I mean, you're smart, you're funny, you have a cool job, you build stuff that goes into outer space. I guess. No, look, I'm telling you, I've known you for like a year and a half, and this is the first time I feel like I'm talking to a real person. No. <laughs> Nice little bot you've got here. Uh, is, that, work. is that him acting so we speak like that? No, Leonard. For years, merciless thugs like Kripke have made my life a series of painful noogies and humiliating wedgies and the insensitively named Indian burns. Standard robotic fighting league rules apply. Are you crazy? This is a street fight. The street has no rules. He's right, Leonard. The paradigm is to the <laughs> death. I will, however, give you the opportunity to concede my superiority now and offer me your robot as the spoils of war. Come on, Sheldon, you got this. Indeed. <laughs> we are prepared for anything he can throw at us. That's new. <laughs> oh my god, it's like twice the size. <laughs> Monty yes, was killed did. by my hubris and my pride. No matter what anybody says, this is my fault. No one's Ooh, arguing with that thing. <laughs> I got your text. How bad is it? Oh, yeah. Yo! Forget the robot. What happened One to you? Punch. Now he knows what bathtubs are capable of doing when you don't treat them with respect. Yeah. I 
sucker punch you when your eyes are closed. <laughs> so what do you think, Howard? It's not that bad, right? You insane? I've seen space probes that crashed into the desert that were in better shape than this. You're right. Monty's gone. Just a toy robot. You are so mean, Penny. Penny. I know, I got it. Sheldon! I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. The way I see it, I'm halfway to pity sex. <laughs> uh, I do not. Do not think so, sir. Ah, uh, this is another funny episode. Again, good knowing you, Monty. You died too young. Um, so, new character, Kripke? Maybe? Um, I, I like when they bring new people into the show. Obviously, we haven't seen. Oh my God! I want to call her Sarah, but I know it's not Stephanie. You started with an S. Come on, give me a break. The original name of this channel was called Bad Memory. You just saw it. Um, we haven't seen Stephanie in a little while, so I don't think she's coming back. I didn't like her character. I thought she was fun. She was a good foil to Sheldon. Uh, like the Sheldonectomy and the hootie shot was hysterical. Uh. This one, we might see a f scientific educational co-worker foil, Sheldon, which I think would be interesting. Um, obviously, the other guys really don't need a foil other than, you know, girls and Penny. And <laughs> Penny, one punch! One punch, and she did that to him. My goodness. Um, <clears throat> sorry for the voice being raspy. I ran last night, and I swear to God, I feel like I have asthma. Um, but again, good funny show. Very well paced, thought out. Very funny. The punchlines were great. And they just play off each other so well. So hope you guys enjoyed this reaction with me. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Find me on Discord. And until next time, take care.